Well, here we are today, boys and girls, back again with another episode. League 2 football. Oh my goodness me, it is not easy at all. We've got Northampton and Newport County in this episode coming up. But we'll have to have a look how our form has been in a second. But please do like, subscribe and get notified to future uploads from the Presec channel. It's not just Let's Play. Don't forget we've got our guides in the skin clinic as well. Go over and have a little look if you like. Let's go and show you how we've been doing so far. Yes, after that Carabao Cup exit, things didn't go very well. Barrow, 2 0 defeat. We then had Wrexham. The might of Wrexham came and they took 1 0 victory. Unfortunately, Wadsworth Drive didn't take anything from this game. Three defeats on the bounce. We then had Morecambe finally stop the rot, a 0 0 draw. We then had a bit of Papa John's trophy. 2 0 victory in this. Finley Thorndike with a couple of goals. Stunning stuff, but unfortunately, more defeats. Cambridge United this time, a 3 1 defeat. Thorndike again on the score sheet. We then resorted to a bit more of a, a standard team, if you like. Ben Guy came in up front and he got the goal after seven minutes. And Azario came into the team as well and he got a penalty after 21 minutes to make it a 2 0 victory. Jenks, unfortunately, Two yellow cards got sent off in this game. We then add Yeovil. Again, a couple of changes and back to a nil-nil scoreline. Thorndike, injured in this game. He is out for six weeks, I think it was. So Northampton Town and Newport County to come. Right, so yes, we did say we, we brought a couple of players. Jacob Borgness comes in from, from Reading and he's not that great. <laughs> He's not costing us a penny. He's not played that well. He's done all right in patches, but I just don't trust him at the minute, so I'm not starting him. Tony Weston comes in from Rangers on loan. Another one. He is rapid. He has got all of the stuff going for him, but 6.1 and 6.4 in two starts. Starting on the bench today. And you will notice the back four is very familiar. Arnie in goal. Barber, Bevan, Agumbo, Burke. Yes, we've gone back to our title winning back four. Jenks at the base, Trevitt, Warwick and Azario. Yes, player of the season. Azario is back in. Thomas gets a chance up front today alongside Captain Ben Guy. Now let's go and win, can we, boys and girls? Nobody expects us to get results. At the moment, every game we play, pressure's on. I think it's going to be pump the fist. We've got nothing to lose. Go out there and show everyone what we're capable of. That has inspired some of the boys and girls out there today. So... Fingers crossed. Oh, there's nothing like a good kick clash, is there? That was Azario's free kick, and we've lost the ball. And, oh dear, this is this is not. Why is the kit so bad? Are they actually maybe in red? It's like a slight red. This would not. If they if these two teams turned up on a Saturday, and you went right, okay. This is our shirts. You'd be like, right, you boys are playing in skins or something because you're not playing out there in these same kits. Thomas making the tackle back. But not doing anything that we should have been doing. Then three minutes in, Billy Chadwick has made it 1-0 to Northampton. And this run... Here we go again. It's been... It's been tough, to say the least. Can we win the ball back? No. Ironside. What a name that is. Chadwick again gets wide, but we do clear the ball down the line. And I thought that was one of our players, but it's not. <laughs> look at the shorts, James. Just look at the shorts. Don't worry about the rest of the kit. Warwick now. Forward. To, gu to Guy. He didn't even move. Is it time to get rid of the old guard? Chadwick, luckily, can't finish. A shout of encourage after about 10 minutes. It has fired the boys up. They are motivated and inspired. Azario with the free kick floats it in. It's away in Ironside. Trevitt, what are you doing? Forward. 
hang on. Bevan does get it forward. Thomas. Thomas does win the ball back. Ben Guy! Captain Ben. Oh, Jim. Well, you were there saying about getting rid of the old guard. And it's the old guard that's brought us back into the game. With one of the new ones helping him out. Josh Thomas robs Dyche of the ball. Ben Guy. Virtual open net. Lovely stuff. Oh, my goodness me. Yes, here we were saying about changing it all up. And what goes and happens? A cracking equaliser. Now a shout of encourage again. Come on, boys. That has motivated them up again. That's what we need. More of the same, please. Better football from Taunton. First shot we've had. Don't get carried away. And the possession is not good either. We need to keep the ball a bit better than we are. Because we are not... Doing enough at the moment. A shout of encourage again just before half time. The boys are on again. They're flying. Arnie now to a gumbo. A gumbo coming out of defence. Pumps the ball forward, but just goes straight to one of their players. I think they're getting confused by these shirts as well. Because this is not what we want to be doing playing against a team. You can't really see if they've got the same kit on. Oh, this is so frustrating. That's the problem sometimes. The game doesn't signify between the difference on things like this. And it is Northampton coming forward again. That looked offside. That looked offside, ref. Offside. I was going to say, that looked offside. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, coming up to half time. Oh, no. Look like a bruised thigh. I think we need to have more shots. And what's Azario done? Is he actually all right? Or is he completely shot to pieces, maybe? So we need to pause because this, this is the frustrating thing with, the, with this at the moment. McKinnon on you come. Jenks off you come as well. But Gibbard. I know it's early, but we need to... Brushing things up. Warwick. Off you come for Watson. And Watson can't change his role yet. Should be able to do it now, though. Let's put him onto the advanced playmaker on support. Three changes made. Early doors. Look at that. What the kit's doing? <laughs> oh. Barber. Barber is having a shocker out there. Substitute off for... Asana. Burke now puts the ball forward. Ben Guy's there. Rounds the goalkeeper. Corner. Oh my goodness me. We have got one more round of substitutes to make. What was that? A gumbo now to Burke. Just when you think you got half a chance. McKiernan, lovely bit of skill. Gives it back to Burke. Coming down that left-hand side. Brings it back to a gumbo. He pumps it forward. Ben Guy's there. Doesn't make nothing of it though. And it is Northampton coming forward again. We do win the ball back again, though. There's a lot of turnover in this game at the moment. They spread the ball out. Hasana goes out to meet Clark. And they're playing around him. That's not what we want to see. Agumbo wins the ball back, though. Thomas does win the ball. Thomas for a one goal. Thomas. Penalty ref. Penalty ref. It is a penalty. Who's on it? Burke. I don't think I've set up set piece takers, but Burke has buried it. Oh my goodness me. Jim, I want to see this again. I'm not convinced that it actually went straight in to hit the keeper and go in. Oh, it did. He blasted it down. Stuart Pierce-esque. Beautiful stuff. Right. Balance mentality. Asana pumping the ball forward. Thomas. Bit of confidence now. Puts Ben Guy in. Ben Guy. He's at the bar. Oh, my goodness. 20 minutes to go. We need to make some more changes to freshen things up, really. Bevan is probably one. Fitness levels. Also, Burke. My word. Right, pause. We'll do Trevitt, actually. Or Dawson. Now, hang on. We're going to have to change things up. Ever so slightly now with that two. 
Dawson can go in there. We'll go to sort of like a diamond-ish. Right. Trevitt was absolutely out on his feet, down on a 60-something or other. Burke is as well, but we can't change them all. That's the problem. Now, a couple of minutes to go. And is it going to be three points? I think it is. It looks like that way. Come on. Much needed three points. Pushes us up to 13th in the league. Oh, my word. That was really special. Nobody give us a chance. Everyone's chuffed a bit. Now ready for Newport County. Everyone thrilled. Villas is thrilled by the comeback. Seven days till we play Newport. Well, one good thing. The board, an A- minus for that month. They are very, very happy with how things are going. The fans, a B minus. They're pretty happy as well. Disappointed that we loaned Pollock out. Oh, and Harry Kite went out on loan as well. Yes, he was fussing about uh, the fact he couldn't get into the team. We didn't say he wasn't going to get in the team. He took it upon himself, so we shipped him out. As it stands, he is joint 11th for central midfield. So probably wise that we did ship him out. So some enforced changes with Trevitt being out injured. Arnie in goal. Hasana, Bevan, Agumbo, Burke. Bringing him in. Just have a little look at Hasana again for a home game. Warwick at the base. Jenks, Watson, Azario, Thomas and Guy. Thomas getting the run up front again. So here we go. Home form is important to us. Let's do it. That's the key. The key, like I've said, I've said it in all the episodes so far. Since we got up to League Two, home form is going to be massive. And today is no different. Coming up to 10 minutes on the clock. And like I said, we really do need to press home our home form just to make sure that everyone understands where we are because it is such a difficult, difficult thing to achieve. But hopefully we'll be able to do it. But at the moment, 26 minutes gone, there's been one or two shots. And both to us. Newport County have not had a sniff. But that doesn't mean anything at the moment. Because Newport County got the first highlight. Bevan takes the ball under control, gives it to a gumbo. Warwick pumps the ball forward to Ben Guy. Osario picks up the loose ball from midfield. Ben Guy through on goal. Penalty ref. Penalty ref. And Azario steps up and puts us 1-0 up on 35 minutes. Beautiful. Jim, i tell you what. Ben Guy, since he's come back into the team, he's proven that he should be here all along. He might not have the greatest of star ratings, but my word, does he put it in for the team? He does indeed, Jim. I completely agree with that. It's just lovely to see... Someone who's, at the end of the day, not that good. <laughs> Doing all right. Warwick wins the ball back. Burke now to Jenks. Watson, lovely play in midfield. Ben Guy through on goal again. This time not got the pace to do it. Lisley beats him to it, though. Azario to Watson. Thomas this time. Thomas! <laughs> What a way to score your first goal. Oh, no, it's offside. That, what a finish. And it's ruled out for offside. What a shame. Show things we're capable of more. Yes, I think that's the one. We need to be realising that we can do more. But we need to put it to bed. That's a foul throw, surely. Asana. Now they've got a penalty of their own. He didn't do anything wrong. He just sort of like nibbled himself to the floor. At the start of the second half, now one all penalty apiece. Aaron Lewis pops up with the equaliser. A shout of encourage. Balanced mentality, maybe. Just to Newport County have come right back into this game. And that's not what I want to see. The boys up front aren't playing that well either. Looking at the, the stats there. Ball's lumped out to that right-hand side. 
Oh my goodness. Burke does win the ball back. Warwick takes it off him. Bengai nods the ball down. Azario in to Thomas. Thomas one touch and through. What a goal that is. That is pure class. Jim, I tell you what. This is one hell of a finish. Premier League finish. Eat your heart out. Azario, ball on his chest. Second touch in the back of the net. Lovely stuff. Just saying that we need to freshen things up. Maybe we do. Oh, hang on. Just going to pause it to make the subs. And there's a highlight. Burke forward. Ben Guy through on goal. Ben Guy with a beautiful finish. But it's offside. He did look off. Right, changes afoot. Right, we're making a lot of changes. At the back, we are absolutely out on our feet. So we're making three changes there. Barber, Lewis and Norris coming in. And he's our new coming on for Ben Guy up front. Leaves us one change in the bag. And that's probably going to be Jenks in midfield because he's looking a little bit out on his feet as well. But we are playing rather well. So we'll leave it for a minute. Hopefully changing so many at the back hasn't hindered us. And it will be Jenks who's now got a book in as well. All the way, Barber, beautiful stuff. Substitute Gibbard on for Jenks. Warwick now breaking out of midfield with that fitness of his. He is one beast. Ball in. Oh, Watson over the bar. That was close. Ten minutes to go. A shout of focus. That is the one to do. A gumbo is absolutely flat out. Come on, boys. A few more minutes. And we're going to be turning our season around with a couple of cracking wins that's going to put us 11th in the table. Absolutely beautiful. Two wins on the episode. Great wins. Great games, boys and girls. Just what was needed because we... Thomas ends his goal drought. Azario inspires. Because looking at that now, oh my word, the form suddenly looks like we've actually been doing all right. This little patch here, forget it. Right, boys and girls, I think somewhere in around here we'll be back again. Probably blast through a few. Maybe Exeter and Hartlepool. Where are they in the division? Exeter up the top, Hartlepool. Are they actually in? The they are up the top as well. Well, boys and girls, I think our form has suddenly turned around. Let's hope so. Anyway, please do like, subscribe and get notified to future uploads to the Preset channel. And thanks for your support out there. Appreciate it massively. And hopefully, start of something big.